Hola, hola, hola guys, it's me and I'm coming to you with a get ready with me video. Um, I actually, like I said um, in the title of the video, had ordered this kit from Tarte. Well, you know that once a year they put like the six products, you know, you pick your little kit or whatever. So I finally, for the first time ever, did that. So um, I have not used any of the products yet. So I figured, why don't we just a use a video with almost everything Tarte. I say almost everything Tarte because um, I probably will not use one or two things that are not from Tarte only because, you know, I don't have every single thing from them. But, so yeah, let's go into this little package and see what's going on. Okay, so everything is like $65 or $63 or something like that, which is an incredible value because you're getting so many products that are full size. Um, and of course you get the cosmetic bag included, you get a choice. So I chose this nice sparkly one and it's definitely sparkly, but it's very textured because all these little sparkly things are... Um, either sewn on or glued on I'm not sure but it's very textured so you might have some sparklies if you you know choose to use it as a makeup bag or anything like that um, but inside I'm just gonna show you really quick the products that I got so obviously this is one where the products were included um, I got their Tarte high performance natural Amazonian clay full coverage foundation I don't think I've ever used a foundation from Tarte. This will be my first time using it. Um, and I got this in the color Fair Beige, which is going to be for um, fair skin tones with a cool undertone. Um, so the next product that I got, and I am familiar with this product because I have used it in the past and I actually did enjoy it. Um, this is the Light Camera Flashes. So it looks like this is like a different formulation than their original lights camera lashes um, so here is that one right here so we're gonna check that out and see how that works um, I also got again first time I'm trying these things out this is a Tarte sex kitten uh, liquid liner in case you have not seen it or used it that is just the cutest little thing that little uh, kitty cat there um, and so it looks a little bit thicker the tip um, to my liking, I particularly like a thin line. This looks a little bit thicker, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, what is this? This is, oh, okay, the Quick Dry Lip Paint. Um, I do like their lip paints. Um, I may have like one or two, um, but I got this color, um, and this is in the color Extra. So this is gonna be, kinda looks like a flaming red um, color. So definitely am liking that color right there. Um, and then what is this? This is the concealer. So this is the clay stick waterproof concealer and I got this one in fair light and Hopefully that will do the trick So that is the concealer and then I also got this. This is the block party um, I always was interested in it, um, but I don't know I guess because it's so big and bulky that I really didn't know if I want to walk around with it um, so this is how it looks in case you know if you haven't used it or seen it um, it pretty much is a blotting powder and then you have some blotting sheets with a little brush included so this is good for the oily skin people of the world or a combination of the world uh, like me I in combo so yeah so those are the products I got and let's get started okay so I am moisturized and all that stuff so we're gonna go ahead and start with the foundation so this is the Amazon in clay again this is in the color 12b which is fair beige hopefully this will do the trick it looks pretty good so definitely not running anywhere this is a thicky foundation um, let me turn on my mirror all right and see how it goes Ooh, this is thick Okay. Oh me. Yeah, this is thick, as you can see. Wow. This is pretty nice. This is my first time using this foundation. If you have used this foundation, let me know below <laughs> if you like it or not. So so far, this is definitely it blends really nicely. Just uh on the other side of the face. 
is nice. All right, so far so good. I'm liking the coverage. Okay, so I got the foundation on. Um, first thoughts about it is um, it's pretty good. It covered up a lot. Um, it's definitely full coverage, definitely a matte finish. Um, it has a thicker consistency. Um, I may want to maybe try it out with a little bit of facial oil just to thin it out a little bit and to see how it would look. Um, sometimes when you do that with some matte foundations you get um, you know more of like a nice radiant little finish and it's a little bit thinner and easier to apply. Um, not that it was hard to, to apply, it wasn't. Um, it's just a little thick um, which would probably be pretty good in the winter actually but um, so far I'm liking it. It looks okay. I'm not complaining too much. Alright, so I'm going to go into my brows. Unfortunately, <laughs> like I said, that I was not going to have 100% of products from Tarte. Um, I do not have any brow pomade from Tarte. I actually did have one and I returned it because um, the color was not my color. Um, I had bought it in talc, which is my usual color, um, but it did not, it was, I don't know, it was more like a golden type of thing. Um, and it was way cooler than the color I would use. So I'm going to be using um, Anastasia's brown pomade in the color talc. Um, and her color to me um, is a little more true in talc um, than the one that I had picked from Tarte. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the concealer, um, the Tarte Clay Stick Concealer. Um, again, this is in the color Fair Light, the lightest there was, so <laughs> it should be able to do something. Um, and let's see. Um, okay, first of all, it's kind of like grabbing up my skin. I don't know if you see that, so this is definitely going to be a thicker, um, drier consistency. Um, let's see what happens. I'm just going to go ahead and blend this in. Um, and I personally, just because I just don't have eye primer at the moment, so I just go ahead and blend the concealer and then I go up with the concealer on my eyelid. Because um, I don't have eye primer. <laughs> Um, so this is pretty much what I do to try and sub substitute that. So I'm going to go ahead. Well, it blends in pretty well. Okay, it is uh, definitely a thicker consistency. Um, it feels a lot creamier in my opinion. Um, and it looks pretty good. Definitely melted into my skin so you don't see. doesn't really look awkward in color or anything like that. You know, sometimes you'll get... A foundation and then you'll get like the concealer and the concealer color is a little off from the foundation color or vice versa and then it just looks weird um, so I tried to get it a sim you know similar color as I could um, and I think, so, I think it actually looks good it blends in with the color so it's definitely concealing okay oh, I like it okay um the only you know the only thing is it kind of Kind of drags, I guess you know, it has that really creamy yet kind of dry consistency. Um, but it's actually not too bad, it's actually pretty nice and creamy. Um, so yes, yeah, so I got that in. Um, I do not have tart powder, <laughs> I do not have tart powder, so um, I'm going to have to make the best of it. What else am I have here? Okay, um, I'm just gonna use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, translucent powder. And these days I'm trying not to put so much powder under my eyes. Um, it's kind of hard to break that habit when you've been doing it for so long. But I'm just going to take a trusty powder brush. This is actually from um, Elf the Nabella, Nabella Noir um, collection. Um, and I'm just going to put this in with some powder and just lightly dab it under my eyes. And then at this point I just pretty much put it all over my face. Um, just to get the powdering over with. And then I can just follow up with everything else. This works a little better for me because it kind of breaks the habit of me putting on loads and loads of powder. Um, it really is a terrible habit that I have. <laughs> I've been doing it for so long and I know it's not the best thing to do. Um, so I'm just going to try and just put a light dusting, which is what I'm doing right now. 
and that is that and then I'm going to go into eyeshadow and I do have a couple of Tarte palettes um, you know a lot of their palettes like especially their neutrals a lot of them are very similar in color so I'm gonna go ahead and look at what I have all right so today I'm going to go back in time um, and I'm gonna use the Tartlet in Bloom palette um, because I have not used I mean I have barely used this palette I've barely used it um, it's in my drawer it's just there so we're gonna go ahead and use that one today so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Morphe M441 brush um, as usual I'm going to use the lightest color because that's how I like to do it um, this is the color charmer um, and I'm just gonna go ahead dip in my brush and just lightly put a bit of color I like to do this first okay and um, I think I'm just gonna keep this pretty neutral um, I'm gonna go ahead what should I do I think I'll go in with smarty pants which is this color right here dip that in and just start outside on the lid I've really been liking doing my eyeshadow this format lately um, I don't know it's just very simple it's easy to blend and it brings a nice um, transition of colors so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm so proud of myself y'all because this brush is clean <laughs> my beauty blender however was not <laughs> I have to wash that one but anyway so I'm just taking this color as you can see doing the same thing I always do you're blending with those little circular motions and then just blending the color lightly in the crease okay so I'm just finishing up this other eye and it's kind of been a, kind of been a struggle doing my makeup lately I hurt my wrist and I don't know how really <laughs> so all these like little circular motions and things are actually hurts <laughs> but I'm gonna do the best I can all right so that's just the little blending I have my little blending brush here just want to blend that out a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead with let's see let's take hmm just to build it up little by little I'm gonna take sweetheart and jet setter so these two colors over here I'm gonna go ahead and mix those and then I'm gonna go ahead and get into a darker color okay so now I keep blending but just bringing up the color just a little bit higher slightly well, I'm still doing those circular motions and then I'm gonna go ahead and get a darker color I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the outer corner of the eye okay so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use ew, I'm gonna use let's see I'm gonna go ahead and use leader which is over here and I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush because it looks pretty dark there you go and we're just gonna leave it here on the outer corner and I'm just dabbing that color and just doing these tiny little circular motions in here because I kind of want to keep it concentrated here in the corner and that's what's going to give you that nice smoky edgy look <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and do that okay so I am satisfied with the placement I'm just going to go over again with my blending brush and very carefully um, and very lightly you do not want to smudge the color or blend too much that the color begins to fade and I think that's one of our problems we begin to um, blend too much and the colors they um, get mixed in together and then you know then you're like oh my god why is it mixing in and all this nonsense so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the same brush and just look up at an angle and just put the remaining color under my eyes 
and this angle works for me because my eyes are very sensitive um, they tear for like no freaking reason <laughs> so looking at them very high like this works a lot better for me and um, if you need to go in and get a little bit of more color you can do that okay so now I'm gonna go ahead um, I feel like kind of putting in like a little shimmer um, on the inner lid so what color should I use I think maybe I will use this one so I'm gonna use this one which is called funny girl this is kind of a nice shimmery gold color and I'm just gonna go on and lightly pat it on the inner corner and on that lid space you can use a brush for this too but to get you know that ultimate color payoff um, you're gonna want to use your finger I'm gonna use my other hand for the other for the other eye. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my powder brush and just brush off any excess eyeshadow debris that has fallen onto my face. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Alright. So we're done with that. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use, this is my Tardius Pro Glow palette. Um, it was either this one or Park Avenue Princess, but um, I decided to use this one um, because it has the blushers as well. I'm going to go ahead and take this angled brush and then, you know, your decision. I like to personally use an angled brush. Um, so this is the Morphe E4 and I'm just going to go ahead and take one of these colors here as you can see and I'm just gonna lightly warm up my face you're gonna want to keep your hand really much towards the end of the brush that way you have a little more control over the brush and over how much color you're actually putting in because if you put it too close then the color is gonna come out really harsh and you want a really nice light blendable color um, or I do anyway <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay you know what's funny is that on camera it looks like so like harsh but it really isn't in person but I'm just gonna blend it a little bit anyway um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the blushers that are here um, I'm actually gonna mix both colors and just lightly put that on my cheeks so this will give it a nice rosy thing this has highlighter too, um, and I really don't use it, but for the sake of this video, since I'm using Tarte products, I will go ahead and use it this time. So right after I'm done putting on this blush, so I'm going to go ahead and take my powder brush again, um, just to blend everything really well, and so that things don't look so harsh. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the highlighter. They have two different highlighters here. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of my brushes here. This highlighter brush, I don't know who it's from. It's, uh, I can't read that. Why can't I read these things? Viva Glam, listen, I don't know. It's a highlighting brush. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the highlighter. I'm going to see how it looks, you know, dry first. But I'll probably wet it because that's just how I do. But yeah, it is an actually it actually is a pretty nice highlight. And I really don't need to. Eh. You know what? The highlighter is actually nice. And I didn't wet it. It's actually really pretty. So I hmm, it's funny. I barely like use it. <laughs> I actually do like it. Alright, that's great. Can you believe that I actually forgot to line my eyes <laughs> so that's crazy all right so i'm gonna go ahead and use the tarte sex kitten liner in black and let's see how it works um like i had mentioned before the 
the, the uh, tip is a little thicker to my liking. I kind of like a thinner one to do a thinner line, but let's see what happens. Ooh, yeah. So it definitely glides really easily. But this doesn't feel, it's not a flexible tip. And I preferably like a flexible tip. That's why I like the, um, the Kat Von D liner. Oh, it's so hard to line and talk at the same time. I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> Okay, so the liner is interesting. <laughs> um, it's not my favorite liner, um, but however, it is very dark, very dark concentrated black, very dark color. Um, you, There's hardly any effort um, to actually disperse the color on your lid. I mean, a light hand and the color comes out really, really well. Um, my only grasp is, you know, um, the tip for me is a little thicker than I would want it and it's not as flexible um, as I am used to. Um, like I said, I use the Kat Von D liner and her tip is very flexible and it's really nice and thin. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try on the mascara and curl my lashes, try on the mascara um, and then put on some lashes. Um, I do not have any lashes from Tarte, unfortunately. Um, as a matter of fact, I do have lashes from Tarte, but I don't know if you remember them. Ugh, they must have come out like, what, two summers ago? Like the, what was it, the Mermaid launch or something where they have like the purple and blue lashes and all that stuff. Um, those are the lashes I have. So obviously I will not be using those lashes, so I'm going to have to just improvise and use the lashes that, um, that I have readily available. Okay, so here is the applicator brush for this certain mascara, which I um, personally am not crazy about. Um, I tend to not use mascaras like that. Um, but let's see how this mascara is going to, you know, what it's going to do for my little lashes. So far, I haven't hurt myself. <laughs> so let's put on a couple of coats of this and then let it dry. Okie dokie, so I got my lashes on, so I'm going to let that dry. I should probably do my hair, probably what I should do, right? <laughs> so yeah, washed it. I cut it again so it's a little shorter, because um, I like it that way. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let me go, I guess maybe I should go take care of this and then I'll put on my lip. Okay, so while I wait for my flat iron to heat up, I like to flat iron my hair after blow drying. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try on this lip color. Um, so here it is again. What is it called again? What did I say it was? Extra. All right, so let's see how it looks. And I really like the doe foot applicator. Ooh. Very nice. This is like a, kind of reminds me of like a chili pepper red. Okay guys, so this is the final look that I did using all of my Tarte products. Um, so yeah, I liked all the, pre the products. <laughs> I like the foundation, definitely full coverage, thicker in consistency. So, you know, you either like it or you don't like it. It's one of those formulas, you either love it or you hate it. Um, the concealer actually was surprisingly nice. Um, at first, it was kind of tugging at my skin, so I wasn't too sure about it, but after it blended in, it actually did blend in rather nicely. Um, blush and highlighter was nice. I was surprised with the highlighter because I really barely use that highlighter. Maybe I've used it once. Um, and it actually is pretty nice. I didn't realize how nice it was. Um, so the liner... Liner is okay. It's very black, very concentrated if that's what you're looking for. The only thing that I would tell you is that the tip is not as flexible as I would want it to be and it's a little thicker than my taste. Some people like the tip of their eyeliner a little bit thicker, some like a little thinner, um, so that's the only thing. Um, the mascara was okay. I'm not crazy about the brush. That is my only quarrel with the mascara. Um, the lip color I am liking the lip color very much like it very very much I think it looks beautiful um so yeah so I think I covered everything that's about it so thank you guys for watching um Merry Christmas I hope that you guys all have a wonderful Christmas wonderful week wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video
Adiós.